As y'all know, I have been out here in this dating world for a while, and it is terrifying. Truly. Honestly. Really. Um, and so I decided, so that you can get an idea of how terrifying it is, that I would share with you some of the profiles that I've come across since I have been doing this online dating thing. Now, I thought hard about this before I decided to do it because I was like, well, people are going to be like, you know, it's rude for me to <laughs> post these people profiles. But their profiles are out in the public for people to see. All you have to do is get on these particular apps and you run across them yourself. So these are not things. These are things that they're proud of, in theory. Maybe. Um, and so because they're things that they're proud of, I don't see any problem with me showing you the things that they're proud of and telling you why I feel like they shouldn't be proud of. So let's just get right into it. Now I have them on my phone, but I will also be putting them on the screen over here so that you can, you know, witness these travesties. Now this first one is not... I guess terrible. I am not really into like super buff guys. I'm just not. I just. I mean, I want you to be in shape. I want you to take care of yourself. But there's something about like really huge men that I just don't find attractive. He's not huge. It's the sh tiny shirt that is making him look bigger. I feel like. And then it's an unflattering angle, so it actually looks like his arms are tiny in comparison to his body. Um, and all of the pictures of his were like this, where he wears like shirts that are two sizes too small. Um, and I just wasn't with it. Um, it may look better in person, I'm not really sure, but I, you need to wear your size. Just wear your size. Just put on shirts that are your size. Now this next one. Uh, first of all, he's in somebody else's house because this background is very much um, a, sorry, I, I knew that was going to happen since I started recording. This outfit is very much like, or not his outfit, the house, the decorations in the house. He ain't put them decorations up. He ain't got this fancy ass chandelier. He ain't got all of this stuff on the background, these candlesticks on the table. and it, Like nothing about this background makes me feel like this is his home. Not to mention he's giving me Run DMC vibes with this hat and this, these glasses, this velvet blazer, which I know some people like are into wearing velvet blazers, but wrong. I can't really get with it. I can't really get with velvet blazers. Um, and anytime I see somebody like in the background that I don't feel like is theirs, then I gotta wonder either you A, or at your girlfriend's house, B, at your mama's house and then I gotta wonder about if, if one of those two things is true do you live with them or do you have your own place because I take pictures in my home so that you know that I have a home that's mine um I don't go to my male friends houses and take a picture in a house that's very much masculine people know that that's it's not my shit because it's not decorated um so yeah just that was a no a lot of older white men um which I don't necessarily have an issue with interracial dating. I've done it before. I'm not all that interested in it, I don't feel like. Like, I don't have a problem with it. And if the right guy came along, I would. He ain't it, though. He's, he's not it. He's a little too old. And he just looks like he would have me in his basement. And I know, I know, that's a little mean, but I, like, I watch a lot of ID channel, and he just looked like somebody I've seen on there before, who, like, became obsessed and, like, locked somebody in the bottom of the basement. And I can't, I'm not, mm, I don't wanna, I'm not about that basement life. I'm just not. Joshua. Yes, let's talk about Joshua. So Joshua, it's not so much the picture. It's his profile. Let's read along together, shall we? I am 32 years old, currently traveling the country looking for the best strange in each state. I'm a fire crotch with the moves to keep it blazing for hours. I love to please and ain't afraid to get my hands dirty. The more forbidding, the better. Joshua sounds like he is like the, the nightmare version of Fifty Shades of Grey. 
Like, where is it consensual, but he, like, abducted you off the street, and then you wake up in, like, a latex leather suit chained to, like, a backboard, and not understanding what the fuck is about to happen to you. Um, just, so much wrong with this. So much, so much, so much not okay with this. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, it's just bad. It's just really, really bad and disturbing. And I wonder how many people respond to this. Like, I wonder how many, this is on Tinder, so I wonder how many people swipe right and hope and, and pray that Joshua also swipe right so they can begin this fire crotchy STD filled relationship or situationship or whatever you would call this. Now, with Joseph, y'all gonna probably disagree with me on this. Um, maybe. I don't know. But Joseph, let's talk about Joseph. Jo all of his pictures with this hairstyle, it's just, I, it is very Janelle Monet-ish. And while I love Jamel Janelle Monet, and I think she's amazing, and I think her style is amazing, I don't want to date a man that has Janelle Monet's style. Like, it's just not, it's not where I see my life going. Um, you know, I, to each their own. Um, and the next picture's with him. He just, he's giving me, he's giving me confused tease. You know, he's giving me, I'm not really quite sure which box I fit in yet. So I'm just going to dress for the occasion. And I'm going to, you know, either or. Um, I, yeah, it, it's, if he didn't have this particular hairstyle, and I know that, that probably sounds pretty superficial, but like, like men, do men wear pompadours? Like, is that, I mean, I'm in Alabama, so it may be men are wearing pompadours just outside of here, but like here, no man walks around, you know, pompadours. So, I don't really, I don't know. So those are all the ones that I have at the moment. Um, I take screenshots of the ones that I think are funny or the ones that I'm just like. Mm. So um, if you guys like this, I will do more of these videos because I remember. I wish my phone crashed. I had way more screen caps. I wish I had taken, I still had the screen cap of a guy that was in prison that told me that my smile made uh, what did he say? Made his soul leave these four walls or some crap like that. Um, there's so many men in prison. There's so many, like you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even believe it. So yeah, I totally can do this again if it is a video that is enjoyed. Um, and you know what? Somebody somewhere may have my profile up to be talking shit about me. And you know what? I am totes okay with that. That's fine. Um, because it's out there for the public consumption and people are going to feel how they want to feel about it and you know, I know I'm awesome so like if they disagree, you do you and find who you need, you know. Um, but yeah, again, if you like this video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and also get, you know, subscribe if you haven't, girl. Um, I make videos every, and release them every Monday and Thursday. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Twitter? What is Twitter? Twitter. Um, at red underscore calamity. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So, until my next video, later, was Boy.